Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I want to share with you something that is a little bit closer to my heart than maybe the normal content of my videos. So this isn't going to be a like super informative from a let's say like logical and scientific perspective. This is more mindset, this is more philosophy, but this is just as important. In fact, it's 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 the icing on the cake, you know? It's what makes it taste good. Like you need this. This is a this is an important part of the of the recipe for healing. And it, it's, a, it's a mindset shift. And this is especially for you if right now you're in a healing process and things aren't going exactly as you want. Maybe you're having setbacks, maybe you're having flare-ups, maybe you, you're not having the, the evidence of progress that you would like. I get it. And if this, if this sounds like you, then this is really for you right now. A mindset shift, a perspective shift, uh, and an invitation for being slightly kinder or more gentle with yourself. So, personal anecdote today. I have had a rough, let's say, let's say a rough three or four weeks. My energy has not been where I want it to be. My performance has not been where I want it to be. My gut has not been where I want it to be. I, in many ways, I feel off track. And this is, this is a feeling that you, in some ways, kind of get used to when you have a chronic illness, when you have a chronic health problem. I have felt this way, maybe historically, for a total of like four or five years. You know, this is a feeling where you're kind of living in faith that things are moving towards where you want them to go, even though you have, like, it feels like no evidence in the present moment that you are actually moving towards where you want to go. So my, my current, my current, um, goals in my healing process right now are to improve my energy levels and to 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 burst through these final layers of adrenal fatigue so I can get back to a point where I can perform athletically and have a, a level like a level of like physical performance so this is like exercise this is training conditioning my body endurance these kinds of things this is the layer that I'm at but the philosophy of what I want to share with you today applies to wherever you are I can use what I'm teaching today. I have used this at least five times in the past for different stages of healing, working through chronic fatigue syndrome, working through food intolerances and, uh, gut, and gut problems. Like this, this, this applies. And I just had an aha today and I remembered this headspace. I remembered this mindset and it really set me in a, in a, in a good track for today. So even though like in physical reality, nothing changed. Like my symptoms are all the same right now. My energy is low. You can might hear I'm a bit, I'm a bit gruff. My throat is a bit, a bit mm, dysfunctional. Um, I don't feel that, that great. I'm not super energized. The mindset shift changed everything for me. So to set the stage, how was I feeling before this mindset shift? I was feeling frustrated. I was feeling like in some ways, like a bit of a failure, like why are things not changing faster? Why am I still here? What am I doing, like practically in my life right now, that is helping me move towards my goals? If this was really working, why do I still not have evidence of it? And that's where I was. And it was scary. It was frustrating. It was bothering me a lot. And it was affecting my productivity. It was affecting my nervous system state. I was in a basically in a constant state of distress, just not being able to settle into today and accept today and move through today in a in a calm and powerfully healing energy it was this feeling that something was wrong and i'm i found a way to find peace again and that was i found this in a two hour massage so one of the one of the more persistent problems that i've had is upper neck cervical and uh, like particularly right shoulder problems and while i've been traveling and i don't have the most ergonomic working environment I'm basically sitting on like a, a dining table chair right now you know no padding no no ergonomic structure not not that great i've had some lower back problems as well and all of the all of it all of this discomfort is making me think like am i doing something wrong why is my shoulder not actually improving why does it feel like it's getting worse why am i why do i still need to to get such intensive like like physical interventions like osteopathy and massage and things like that at such a regular basis like for me this is like twice a week at this at this point which is quite a lot fortunately i'm in thailand so it is more affordable 
but it still is a lot, you know. This is this is this is this is a considerable like investment. But it is that it is an investment. And th when I was in this massage, I really connected with my body, and it and it showed me this, and it showed me that even though right now I feel the furthest away from from these goals, my energy is at the, the lowest point that it's been. You know, I tried to do even just some hip opening exercises and some mobility exercises, and I got. Uh, I got like a, this head rush and I felt like I was going to vomit and my gut was like like pulsing and it clamped down and I was like, whoa, what is going on here? And it felt terrifying and I felt so far away from this. But then I actually realized it helped me reframe and I saw, I know the final layers of my adrenal fatigue that I need to work through are, are basically like chronic immune burden. Cr like for a, let's say seven or eight year period, I... Everyone around me would get sick, and I would have I would have no symptoms of, of of a cold or a flu at all. You know, like no runny nose, no sore throat, no coughing, sneezing, nothing, just nothing, no response. At most, I would be left with liver pain, like like just a feeling of an enlarged liver and like a liver pain and discomfort in my abdomen, and depression. That was it. That was my immune response, and what that basically indicates is a lack of immune response. That's just my body being burdened with more 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 things more environmental like pathogens just taking advantage of my low my low host immunity and when you think about uh, like a fatigue condition you've got to think about things that refill you and things that drain you and having a chronic immune burden is one of those things that you can't it's very hard to like measurably factor into your life you're like it's not like a stressful thing. It's not hours spent working. It's not physical exercise that you do. It's just this chronic burden that is invisible that is draining your car every single day. And I know that this is one of these final layers that I have to work through to get this result that I want. And, it, and this, this, this breakthrough in this mindset shift was, was showing me like right now, I have cold and flu-like symptoms. Like I have a bit of a sore throat. I've got some like post-nasal drip and like some lymphatic congestion and like really painful lymph nodes here like I'd never had painful lymph nodes in my life it's like my immune system didn't even work and now it is and consequently I don't have very much energy and that's because my body is rerouting all of this energy into immune function into stimulating even this look like compared to a, an average fully healthy person with a strong immune system this is a low level of immune response but coming from nothing, this is huge. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so grateful for the strength that my immune system has. And it made me realize I'm pushing way too hard. You know, I'm expecting myself to be performing like the most healthy person in the world. The, the person that, has, that, that didn't have this huge immune burden that they had to work through. That didn't have all of this stuff that, that their body had had to work through. And I was trying to like perform at a really high level. I'm like, why am I not motivated on work? Why can't I do more? Like, why can't I make more videos and stuff? Like, why can't I, why can't I turn my creativity on? Like, why can't I show up in my relationship like I want? Like, why can't I, like, I'm traveling. Like, why can't I go to the beach more? Why can't I do more exercise? And it was like, it really helped me reframe this. It was like, you're being too hard on yourself. You need to invite some gentleness here. You need to see how how amazingly you are actually doing like how strong your body actually has become and even in this state now where i feel like weakened and i have more symptoms and my immune system is clearly working and i have low energy as a result even like being able to bask in that with gratitude and feeling that this is actually exactly what i need to get to my goals to get to the place where the adrenal fatigue heals and that i have all this energy again doesn't mean that i need to be like burning through loads of energy right now I need to be conserving my energy and letting my immune system take this energy and use it to clear this like invisible burden that is accumulated in my body over these like, like 10 years of just, of just no immune function. And this will take time. And I, I expect I will go through peaks and troughs and peaks and troughs where my body is having stronger immune responses and then it's calming down and it's going to, into more of a restorative state where it wants more movement or it wants more nourishment and I have increased appetite, for example. And then it will go through another one of these periods of, of, of illness, of, of flare-ups. And, uh, and as I go through this, I, I actually expect and anticipate. So if you're following along, like if you're on your own healing process and you're following along as I'm on mine, like mark my words, I bet you, one year, one year, six months, two years from now, I'll be doing another video exactly like this. And I'll be saying, I just had my first fever. You know, I've just had 
the strongest immune reaction that I've had in, in, in a decade, in two decades. And that's how your immune system gets strong again. It will build up slowly over time. I'll, next time I get a cold, it will be stronger. I'll be sneezing. I'll be fluey. The time after that, I'll have no appetite. I'll just recluse into, a, like a, into the man cave for a couple of days and go through something. And then the time after that, I'll be having like really strong fevers, super strong immune response. And this is a step towards that. And the, someone with an immune system like that, they don't have immune burden. They've cleared their immune burden. They've cleared that debt. They don't have chronic infections. They don't have chronic pathogens. They don't have Lyme and EBV and Candida and gut dysbiosis. Their immune system is strong and it keeps these things in check. And seeing that what I'm experiencing now, even though it feels like the antithesis of what I want, even though low energy, low athletic performance, low motivation and low productivity feels like the opposite of what I want, it's actually exactly what I need to be experiencing to get where I want to go. And that just changed everything for me. It shifted from like, what if you're missing something? What if there's a nutrient you're deficient in? What if you're doing something wrong? What if you've missed something huge? Like what new testing do I have to do? What new practitioner do I have to work with? And it was in this very like desperate energy of lack of not enough. And that's never a good energy to make a decision in because you're going to attract more of what you're in when you make that decision has now moved me into a state of feeling like I am already doing more than enough. Like the reason I feel the way I do is I'm doing every single thing right. And it was such a powerful shift and it completely changed my mind space. It completely changed my emotional state. And it made me feel like, okay, I'm really happy to just lay in bed and do nothing for the rest of the day. And the allowance of that was like, I feel creative. I want to work. Let's make a video. And and, and here we are. And it, it flows and it feels great. And I know when I get this kind of inspiration to make a video, it's going to have a perfect resonance with at least some, some people watching. And it's exactly what they need to hear. So if this was exactly what you needed to hear today, please let me know. I would really love to hear it. Please, I, I, I don't want to say I beg you, but I really deeply, sincerely encourage you be kind with yourself and be, be gentle with yourself and realize you're actually so much further along than you realize. You're so much closer to what you want than you realize. And just because you're going through a, through a flare up, but just because something is happening and like you aren't, you haven't been presented with evidence that you're on the right track or that things are going well, you are, you are moving in the right direction. If you're, if you are, if you are trying, if you are growing, if you are learning, if you are implementing, you're, go you're going in the right direction. You're moving forward. You don't move backwards in the healing journey. You just move forward. You grow, you expand, and you, you are doing that. And even if you don't have the evidence of it right now, even if your symptoms don't seem like they're improving, even if maybe things feel like they're getting worse, like I've, there's so much that happens non-physically in like the cognitive realms of like understanding, in the levels of um, feeling and emotion, in the levels of um, intuition and intellect and, and, un, and understanding that comes well before physical change. You know, look at, look at money. Somebody doesn't just get rich overnight. They put years and years and years of study into understanding how money works and then it builds over time. So you can't measure their wealth as an indicator of their results or of their progress because there's so much that comes before it and you're in that stage now. Even if you don't have the evidence to hand, it does not mean you're off track. You're actually in the perfect place for things to be changing. You just have to bide your time. You have to be patient and, and please be, be kind to yourself and be gentle to yourself and stop. Just don't in, in this desperate energy, like trying like frantically to do different things, like ground yourself, center your energy and know that you're on the right track and you're moving forward and everything comes at the right time at the right pace and, and you're doing it. You're doing it. It's so important that you realize you're doing it. You're actually so much closer than you even realize. I hope this was really helpful. I hope it, it, I hope it inspires something in you. I hope this really connects and like resonates with something inside of you. And if it does, then, then, then it's true. You know, it, you're, you're, you're getting the, the message through me. Like you're on the right track. Just keep, keep going, keep learning, keep growing. And be gentle with yourself. It's so important. Such an underrated tool for healing. Be gentle. Things move a lot faster when you're softer. Take care. See you soon.